Yes, my viewers and subscribers, New Real Entertainment back at it again. And some of the topics we're going to talk about in this review is 23-year-old man shot dead in Manchester and wanted men captured, firearm and ammunition seized in Kingston. We're also going to talk about St. James Police seized four guns and 96 assorted rounds. We're also going to talk about teen found dead with head partially severed in St. Catherine. We're also going to talk about man hunt underway for Port Royal lock up escapees. So you guys know the right thing to do. Hit that subscribe button for my new viewers. Hit that like button. Leave a comment in the comment section. 23 here while man shot dead in Manchester. Manchester, Jamaica. The Manchester police are probing the murder of a man in the community of Dunsane on Saturday. The deceased has been identified as 23 year old Waynaldo Dixon from Pimento Hill District near Milktown. Police say he was killed by unknown assailants on Longville Close about 5.17 am. It is reported that residents heard explosions and summoned the police. Dixon was taken to hospital where he was pronounced dead. Wanted men captured, firearm and ammunition seized in Kingston. Two wanted men were captured by the Specialized Operations Branch in separate operations in Kingston on Friday, August 27. One of the men, 25-year-old Javon Francis, otherwise called Killy Killy, of Sharp Drive, Kingston, has since been charged for illegal possession of firearm and ammunition. Francis was arrested during an operation that was carried out at his home about 5 a.m. According to reports, during the operation, a search was conducted and one Taurus 9mm pistol with two magazines containing 11 9mm rounds were found. Francis was arrested and during processing, it was revealed that he was wanted for the murder of 36-year-old Conroy Mackay of Havana Drive, Kingston that was committed on Wednesday, January 6. He was subsequently charged. His court date is being finalized. The team then conducted a raid at Bogle Pathway in Kingston, where two men were taken into custody. One of them, Trevor Dean, otherwise called Romaine, of Whitehall, Kingston, is wanted by the St. Andrew North Criminal Investigation Branch, CIB, on several counts of murder. The other man was processed and released. Investigations are ongoing. St. James Police seized four guns and 96 assorted rounds. The police in St. James seized four firearms and 96 assorted rounds of ammunition during separate operation in the parish over the last 24 hours. Teen found dead with head partially severed in St. Catherine. 15-year-old Kevin McKenzie was found dead this morning with a gunshot wound and his head partially severed from his body. The incident happened about 7.30 in his community of Jones Avenue in Central Village, St. Catherine. It is reported that Mackenzie left home to dispose of garbage when he was attacked. Residents reported hearing an explosion and went to investigate. They then stumbled upon the teen's body. Residents described the Spanish town high school student as humble, caring, and well behaved. Manhunt underway for Port Royal lack of escapees. A manhunt is now underway in the police Kingston Eastern Division for the three men who escaped from the Port Royal lockup this morning. The police say the men were discovered missing during a check about 4.45 a.m. According to the police, preliminary investigation indicate they escaped by cutting a hole in the cell door. Members of the public, especially those in communities, such as Rockford, Bull Bay, Arborview, Bayhore Park, and Melbrook Heights are advised to be on the lookout. 29-year-old Prince Levy, otherwise called Talman, a call centre worker of Cedar Valley, Sligoville, in St. Catherine, who is charged for murder, 
Levy is of dark complexion, thin built, and is 6 feet 2 inches tall. He is known to frequent St. Mary and Kensington Court, Kingston 5. Prior to his escape, he was seen dressed in a blue t-shirt and blue shorts. 25-year-old Junior Creary, otherwise called Whopper, a construction worker of Carnarvon Street, Kingston 13, who is charged for wounding with intent with the use of a firearm. He is of fair complexion, same built, and he is about 5 feet 10 inches tall. Query is known to frequent Canaan Street, Kingston, and parts of St. Anne. Prior to his escape, he was seen dressed in a white merino and plaid shorts. 14-year-old David Taylor of Pleasant View, 8 miles in Bull Bay, St. Andrew, who is charged for having sex with a person under the age of 16. He is of dark complexion, slim built and is about 5 feet 8 inches tall. He also has gold teeth. Taylor is known to frequent Dallas Castle and Papin in St. Andrew. Prior to his escape, he was seen dressed in a white t-shirt with designs on the front and brown shorts. How to provide information to the police. Persons who can assist the police to recapture the men should contact the Kingston Eastern Police at 876-928-4200, the police 119 number, or crime stop at 311 immediately. Yes, my viewers and subscribers, we are already having a pandemic that's killing off so much of our people. And these governments are ruthless. Every day you hear that someone is being shot, someone is being murdered. If you have any additional information, you can please pass it on to the police or the nearest police station. I'm telling you, these guys need to stop. We need to stop crime. We need to fight against crime. So leave your comments in the comment section. Hit that like button. For my new viewers, please subscribe to the channel for your latest news and reviews. Neural Entertainment, out.